This is strangely reminiscent of Divinity Original Sin 2, except instead of crashing in a ship, we have plummeted towards Earth in a giant tentacle monster. Drink in the pungent corpse. Since you awoke on the ship, your mind has been cold and empty. Just like usual, then. Something stirs. With your hands close to this body, you know nothing of why, but you find a half-smile flittering across your face. Ah, yes, that'll be my dark and forgotten past of necrophilia. Uh, I'm trying to move past it, so it's probably not a good idea to remember, but I'm going to give my child a chance anyway. To send me I pass? Success. As soon as you delve into your mind, it is filled with flashes of a thousand different dead. That's quite a lot of dead. There is something unknown and unspeakable deep within your heart. Okay, um, well, there's probably going to be a few thousand more dead considering the campaign we're about to begin. Hello, Shadowheart. Fancy seeing you here. Uh, you do have your nice contraption, but I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with it, so I'm not going to try to steal it with you. We're going to be friends and we're going to wake you up. Wake up, goddammit. Wake up. There we go. We should have given that a nice slap on the face. Classic movie. Alive. How is this possible? Kiss of life. Yeah, that's me. Um, I was hoping you might know that. I remember the ship. I remember falling. Yeah. Then nothing. There. Um, do you know where we are? No. I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came True. from. True. Hell's not very hospitable. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. Find some water. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. Uh, mine's actually called, uh, Larry. So it's our monster. Become friends with Larry. Larry is a great person. Do you know what happened to our git friend? I want to reconsider calling her a friend. Looks like Again? What a pleb. Okay, you want to stay just together? And we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. Oh, thanks. All right, let's get moving. We're going to be One BFFs. Thing. Just before we go, I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. You're welcome. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Cheers, dear. Lead the way. I will. Intrepid explorer as we go. Do you still have all the stuff I've looted? Let's check your inventory. I would be disappointed if we've lost everything. Okay, you do have the stuff we picked up. Very convenient. None of which is particularly useful, unfortunately. Hopefully our git friend managed to find some better bits and bobs. We've stumbled across an ancient door, which I think is definitely going to be locked. And a weird purple spell. I don't know what's going to happen if we touch it. Uh, maybe it allows us to teleport. That is exactly what it is. Okay, good to know. Those are waypoints. And I think we're probably going to have to back up the weird, creepy passage over here. Let's first loot this geezer and equip ourselves for battle because I do not trust whatever the main helm has in store. That guy was alive last time I checked. And maybe my friend is. Well, I don't think I'm going to be my friend anymore, unfortunately. Two mind flares, very much alive. Well, sorry. Intellect devourers uh, are just over yonder, and we're probably going to have to fight them. But the ambush would technically be good, but I'm still going to see if we can be friends. Maybe we've got the tadpole in our eye. Better stay back. Okay. We very much do not. Can we reach you? We got 80% one chance for you, and an 81% chance. Disadvantages on both, unfortunately. I'll take three damage, though. It's not the end of the world. And in terms of moving, I'm fine just sticking back here, to be honest. We leveled up! Great success. Can we use our offhand attack? Was it automatically used? I think it was. I have applied a shield from Shadowheart, so we should be relatively good in melee combat for a while. And we have two more Intellect Devourers to go. This is splendid. And can we hit two at the same time if they're next to each other? I don't think that's the case. You fight well. Perhaps our survival isn't such a distant prospect. Thank you very much. Uh, you did just get hit for eight damage, so I would appreciate finding a way to heal you pronto. We've equipped ourselves a very good hat. 
and we are also going to level ourselves up. How does one spec into a warlock? Because I don't want to level up a fighter quite yet. Add class. There we go. Additional feature allows you to build a powerful combination of classes at the expense of higher level class features. You can only level up one class at a time. That's A-OK. -okay. We shall level up our warlock or our spec into warlock. We are going to be picking up the cantrops of Eldritch Pass, obviously. It is brilliant. And Blade Ward, which will give us some additional defensive capabilities. In terms of our subclass, I want to go with the Great Old One for thematic purposes. Just Cthulhu seems a lot more powerful and cooler than doing a pact with an Archfey or a regular old Archdemon. So, we are now on to spells where we have picked up Dissonant Whispers, will frighten creatures, and can do a pretty hefty amount of damage. And Hex, which is another pretty dandy spell. In terms of our benefit for picking the Great Old One, if we get a critical hit, we potentially turn the enemies to become frightened, which is very nice. And I'll tell you what, our new cap is looking incredibly dapper. And our lovely Shadow Blade is going to have Healing Wound, Inflict Wound, Guiding Bolt, Shield of Faith, and Command. So let's get ready to rock and roll. We should hopefully be able to mix and match that up at a later point and respect, because quite frankly, I'm not entirely positive what I'm supposed to be doing. But going up to 19 and 17 health is definitely good, especially considering Shattered Heart was on the verge of death. Hello, hello, if it isn't our vampiric friend. How are you doing, Astrion? It's nice to see you, mate. I've got one of those bring things called. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? Can't you do it yourself, eh? You're not going to be a very useful companion if you're getting me to do everything. But, fine. I will do it in order to make you like me more. There. Can you see it? I feel like you're going to stab me in the back. Shadowheart, can you please watch him? I do not trust him in the slightest at this moment. It's a bloody poor. Just a dumb boar. You're relieved. Until you see the flash of a dagger. Ha. Put away, we don't need to fight. This is a robbery. We're off for a bad start, friend. I just need information. I saw you scuttling about on the ship. Yes, sir. You're league with them, aren't you? Those tentacle... Ah! Oh, you've got the tentacle things too. Twins. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. <laughs> what was that? What's going on? Don't know. It wasn't very nice, whatever it was, sir. It's the Mind Flare Worm. It connects us. The worm? Of course. That explains things. Somewhat. And to think. I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. Yeah, I don't think you would have a very good chance of doing that, sir. Apology accepted. I might have done the same if the walls were reversed. Can't blame you. I was looking forward to seeing you. Oh, good, we're all caught out. You're better off. Sure. Uh, a kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. Oh, yeah. I was in Gate when those beasts snatched me. I'm in quite the state, but I think I'm in Mur. All you need to know. Tell him of your crash, your worm, and your ruined brain. Sure. My, my. You've been busy. So, yeah. did you yeah. learn anything about these worms while wandering the ship? Uh, mine's called Larry, and he's my friend. Um, yes. Turn into... They'll turn us into mind flares. Not good, oh. I know. Of course it'll turn me into a monster. Aren't you already a monster? You're a vampire, what mate. Did I expect? Well, I guess, oh, you know, no. I'd rather be a vampire than a mind flare, probably. Yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. I feel like finding another mind flare would be our best bet, but I don't think they're going to be particularly cooperative unless we uh, have leverage. Control it, we need to get rid of it. You should travel with me, odds are better together. I need to get moving, but you can shelter at my camp. You can travel with me. You know, I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd 
isn't such a bad... I prefer a really cool gaggle, the term heard. Mind ship and walk away seems like a good person to know. Indubitably, my All dear. Right. I accept. Lead on. As he joins your side, your mind dances... I look kind of dirty. <laughs> a perfect, pretty corpse. Um... Yeah, let's try not picture his perfect pretty corpse. That doesn't seem good. And why is his landed so spectacularly? Well, it's not in great condition, but it's in slightly better condition than it should be. Are we going back into his ship? Can, can't we just be finished with all that? Hello, dearie. Fancy seeing you here again. Approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. So it's my daddy? End its life here and now. If only you didn't feel... Not? Compassion. With the dark urge, we don't feel compassion. Age. Yeah. Yes, you feel hate. And you deserve to be punished for it. No, I don't. I don't like you punishment. It hurts. To bow before this Not the paddle, daddy. Not the paddle. Possessing your mind. Forcing you to... I already love you, though. Look at your beautiful face. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Um, sure. We've got 12 intelligence for a reason. Let's go. We just need a nine. Get in there, son. What is going on in that little head of yours? Your mind's views. Lusting for something that is gone. Mum? But then its grip claws back with a vengeance. A vice locking your mind into obedience. That's not good. Sustenance to survive, and with your very body, you can provide. I'd rather not. Um, I need in for a kiss. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and not snog you, mate. I just need a five. Okay, that was close. We we're really getting close on these rolls right now. But, you know, I don't really want to be mind flare food. Thank you very much. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Close those eyes forever. I'd rather not risk it. Goodbye, sir. Put you out of your misery. Maybe get some EXP while we're at it. Monster. Death is too good for it. Let's go see what you've got. Potion of healing and a spiked bowl. Don't mind if I do. And let's chat to our new friend. What do you have to say, Astrium? Have a manner of irresistible desperation about you. Elaborate. I like it. Oh, that's good. Can you make me a vampire? I kind of want to be a vampire as well. Uh, tell me about yourself, sir. And what's to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. Mm -hmm. Well, that was enlightening. I feel like I know nothing more about you. Starion's an interesting find. Let's hope any future acquaintances don't hold a blade to your throat by way of introduction. Yes, that would be most appreciated. Now, this is what I'm talking about. What's the story with that odd little artifact, There's you know? no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. <laughs> Fine. When we become BFFs, I'll ask you. Where is it old con? Is your tadpole playing tricks on yours? I understand why you ask, but memory loss is not as uncommon as you'd think. There may be other causes. Fun! I don't kill, I only feel like myself when <laughs> killing. Uh, I, I'm gonna skip that means of chatter for now. Uh, what do you think happened to I us? I haven't gone all that far yet. What are you referring to exactly? Uh, what will you do if we actually manage to remove the tadpoles? I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of It course. feels like a bit of a slight. I've fallen in love with you already. No reason for us to stay together if we... No reason for us not to stay together if we get on well. No reason for us to not stay... Yeah, there we go. Perhaps. Perhaps not. If we do survive, we'll have separate lives to return to. I don't I really have a life. I've forgotten everything, someone dear. Waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. Yay, we got a mission. Family? For a lover? Uh, I'm not asking for personal reasons. Um, um... Let's just say it's a very personal, very private yeah. acquaintance. Okay, uh, you must have thought about our little stowaways. Sure. Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. 
We've no solid leads right now, though. We'd best get hunting. If you discover anything that might help us, I'm all ears. Okie dokie. We've only got half the ears I do, because you're only a half elf scumbag. I'm a full elf. Aha. Uh -huh. How am I holding on? I must on? admit, you've been a surprise. And not an unpleasant one. Kindred spirits are few and far between for me. Besides, you saved my yeah. life aboard the Nautiloid. How can I do anything but sing your praises? Wow. Thank you. Um... We should talk about what's happened to us. What's on your mind? I feel that was what we just did. We turned to other matters. We should get to know each other a little Mystery. more. No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? I don't really like mystery. You don't want to talk about yourself. We have to rely on each other. Easy if we know each other well. Easy is often less interesting. Besides, we've plenty of reason to rely on each other already. Yeah. You can't confide in just anyone about a monster in your head. True, true. The monster's beside me. Don't watch that documentary. Terrifying. Still have PTSD. Um, maybe I'd like to get you know better. Sweet of you. But don't worry. I'm sure you'll get to know me just fine by traveling together. No need for interrogations just yet. Fine, fine. Not good enough. If that's what you prefer, Thank I can you. respect that. I'm sure we'll get along perfectly well. Yes, we will. We should journey separately. No, that's that's all good. I'm happy with where that came to. Ooh, a giant purple glowing orb. Let's go and see what's going on over Approach here. the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Let's stick our hand in it. Yay! This is definitely not going to backfire. We're going to get magic powers from it. Um, yeah, very magic powers. I'm never going to be able to get over our beret. Ooh, a hand. A hand? Anyone? I've got two hands. I can help you with them. Um, who exactly are you? Just your average traveler stuck between realms. Pull me out, and we'll get properly introduced. Fine, fine. Uh, warlock charisma. Ignore your urge to maim and grab the hand. Yeah, we're, we're not going to be cutting off this guy's hand. We're just going to be rolling a simple seven. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, plus three. Look at us go. Whatever you're doing is working wonders. Now, a quick little pull should do the trick. Okay, I'll pull you off. Uh, um, I mean, I'll pull this off. I'll pull you out. Um, um... Man, you seems like you're sucking me into it. This, this, oh no, there we go. Hello, mate. Good to see ya. Can you please regale me? Why the hell you were stuck in a portal? Hello, I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. I see. Well, I don't mind a mage. We haven't picked up our sorcerer abilities yet, so might as well tag along. And uh, not wasting time passing adventures. I hope this soap so. I need to apologize. Are you all right? But friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Nautiloid as well. Where the hell did you see me? Never mind Nautiloid. How did I get stuck in that zone? I was, yes. I only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather... Unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Yeah, and other regions. Many of my offices were inserted with various goods, some of which uh, were wanted. Um, the the eye wasn't. Could you have phrased it more pleasantly myself? No you sugarcoating it, is there? <laughs> the insertee we speak of, this parasite... Are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? I am rather well aware. Process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Not a cleric, and I have medical training. Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? Uh, I don't think a knitting needle. You're gonna have to peel off the eye. Most? No doubt, but I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. Eh, uh, no, not really. Just a man with a beret. 
I'm going to ask you the same question. My hands are better suited to less delicate pursuits. I can offer you a swift end, but I can't give you a shirt. Sure. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Sure, join up. I think we're only on a max of four, so they're going to be our final addition. Most excellent. A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that. You're most certainly welcome. Of foresighted kindness, I assure you. For I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. Most appreciated, my dear Gail. And we have leveled up, or you have leveled up at least. Both of you have leveled up. And that means we're going to have to do some respecting in order to optimize our combat proficiencies. As we upgraded the assassin, we didn't need to select anything. But for the wizard, we're going to go down the evocation line, allowing us to be better with elemental damage. Picking the chromatic forge and magic missiles with the prepared spells being mage armor, grease sleep, witch bolt, and thunder wave. Ooh. Yeah, we will leave it as that. I was contemplate switching out the chromatic or to be a prepared spell, but we're going to leave it as a regular spell. I'm, I'm happy with this build. Seems relatively dapper, like in the purple, very regal. And from now on, we are going to continue our exploration and probably fight some goblins at some point, considering they were inhabiting the surrounding region when we crashed. What is this? Oh, that's part of the ship. Lovely jubbly. I don't think we're going to be able to get it to fly again. I think it's dead. Oh, look, what do we have here? Oh, that's our um, friend who is now trapped inside a prison. Well, can we chat to these guys? I feel like we may have to fight them to free her. But so, if at all possible, I'd rather not. Yellow as a toad, twice as ugly. Hey, that's not very nice. Dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh. A guest. Pleasure to meet you, dear. Skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white hot stare. A More of a green hot stare. But, oh well. Get rid of them. Don't worry, I'll get you out of there. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Watch my masterful deception. What grows inside you, and I know of a cure. Remember how keen she was to leave me to die in the Nautiloid. We can't trust her. True, she's not the most trustworthy individual, but oh well. What do we need? It's Septum 10. We got a good, it's a charisma modifier, so get in there. 15. Thank you very much, Die. I will die and live right. by your standards. Let's go. We need to check out that blast. A blast? Uh I could use more specifics. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. Oh, you mean the big crashing of the ship? I'm in dire need of healing. Where is camp? Um, that should be easy enough to be able to beat. Oh, it was a 19. Sexy. We've reached over 20. Does that mean something special happens? Northwest. Look for Nettie. Whatever your wound, she can mend it. Nettie. And be careful. There are goblin traps everywhere. Appreciate it. Come. Enough gawking. Get me down. Um, say please. Never. Wow. <laughs> it was just Sir, banter. Listen. Questionable yeah. intellect. Unsurprising. It's not that questionable. I got 12 on my intelligence Release stat. Me, or enjoy a future as geich. Once again, say please. Mind players. The atrocities we are becoming. Becoming? There's no hope for us, is there? I know a remedy. Release me and I will share it. Can you say please? Please. Down. You try my patience. How many times can we do this? We're gonna have... try my Okay, patience. she's just gonna repeat herself. Fine, fine, I'm gonna get you down. Calm yourself. Path interrupted. How does one get you down? Is there a mechanism I can shoot? Because right now I just see the rope. Shoot, please. That's completely the wrong direction. There you go, you're down. Okay, you chill. I've probably broken all your ankles, but oh well. 
Auspicious. Yeah, auspicious but the indeed. The longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. No, please can you join me? She obviously sees your kindness <laughs> as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. Um, and what exactly is a crash? A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augustil for purification. Well, I'm glad you have a way of dealing with it. Um, simply thank you. All right, we'll journey together. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. The cure I offer will suffice as thanks. Fair, but you know, just a bit of pleasantries would be most appreciated, darling. Uh, I thought you had a cure with you right here. A pity here. that. I made an offer and you accepted. I would have saved you without the offer. Chill your beans. Okay, yes. All right, I'll journey. Dismiss your weakest warrior. Do you need to be such a bellend? Wait a camp. Very well. But heed my words. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. I must interrogate this Zoru. Our very lives depend Yes, on I will come and fetch you in I'll a second. Camp. Do not keep me waiting. And why does Miss Shadowheart keep disapproving of me? I'm perplexed. What, what have I done that is so deserving of your irk? There is oh, you didn't like her. Why did you suddenly like her? You're incorrigible. How does everybody's opinion towards me feel? Okay, you're still the highest, so it's not too terrible. Discovered a waypoint and a beautiful view. What more can I ask for? That really is stunning. If I wasn't currently being consumed by a mind flare, I would go scavenge for berries and create us the most sumptuous of picnics. Before we enter the main city's gate, I thought it prudent to check out what on earth is going on in the chapel. Because... You're both twice as tall as me, but I'm half the bloody backbone! But we don't know what that thing even is. And what about the crypt? I'm telling you, it's a ship. Was a ship, and yeah. The crypt can wait. Mari and Barton have been trying to break in for days. Now we stop. <laughs> you only just we'll noticed me. Competition already. That's our ship. You just came off the ship. You don't want to be on the ship. I've also looted the ship. I mean, no competition. I had no annihilation. Um, the ship is full of monsters. I wouldn't go near it. That ship's an invasion force. We'll we'll persuade them. Um, technically, we do have bonus to intimidation, though. But I do like trying to be friendly simultaneously. Yolo, let's go for it. And we made it. Good stuff. Well, uh, in that case, come on, you lot. No point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Um, second mouse gets the cheese, no? I've never even heard that expression. I know early worm gets the bird, but I like new expression. The second mouse gets the cheese. Still don't understand it. Um, this looks like it could be broken into, so I'm going to try and shoot that from afar. Considering they were just walking on it, it should be okay at least to traverse. We've also got some burlap sacks. Nice. Well, okay, we'll loot the place, then I'll cave in this, and then we will go through the main door if we can lockpick. I don't know if anybody on our team can lockpick, but the bedroll should be able to heal our, our misses over here, which should be most fortuitous. And let's get some rest. Is that how it works? Are you healing? Do you feel healthier? I don't think she feels healthier. Okay, we shall give you a healing wound on yourself then. That should also do the trick. Twice. And then if I rest, do you get to heal up? No. Oh well. We're better and ready for combat now. Open sesame door. Everything all right out there? Yeah, it's all good. You're from Liverpool, are ya? Well, you know I could I could demand you let me in, but that's not gonna go well. And I don't think you're gonna let me in if I'm not gonna rock and these two are absolute hogwash. Because if I uh, pretend it's me, even if I succeed, you'll find out it's not when I'm not a bloody, you know, little thing. And deception, um, well, we'll just go for it, you know. I don't have much faith for any of this stuff. 
but at least this is going to get you to open the door but i think the fight is going to ensue get inside and i'll rustle up some bandages thank you well we're in charlatan cheese your way through in the hell? you're dead do we have to be dead do we just you know be friends no okay um well we're gonna go stabby stabby bang and do you have an offhand attack oh i'm such a plonker i forgot to equip you with my second dagger i have a second dagger it's in my bloody bag well that's for next time you know beggars can't be choosers let's go for a opportunity attack and stab from behind question mark three to eight damage or we could go for an Eldrix invocation um dissonant whispers does three to 13 how much health sure we'll give you some dissonant whispers 60 percent chance of success and oh he's dead well i'll take the key thank you is that is that it no one else wants to attack us seems rather peaceful if i do say so myself lovely and we have the key to get the rest of the way in. Well, while I'm waiting, we're going to fix this. Ancient, indecipherable text covers the plaque. A dead tongue. Whoever worshipped here must be long gone. Okay, well, it seems like we have stumbled across an ancient and forgotten church. Very fun. Hopefully we have some secrets to uncover that can empower our cleric. Because Mr... I meant Miss is... Why am I forgetting her name? Shadow Heart has religious connections well we can either open a lever or use the key which one i don't know that was easy um we come in peace question mark no we don't come in peace well that that's okay uh, i could just blow you up you know i think i'm just gonna blow you up sorry dear oh I still need to set you on fire. Um, well, we'll just end turn. And on this go, do we have a firebolt attack? We have Eldritch, Blade Ward, Second Wind, Hex. That is very unfortunate. I guess we'll go for an Eldritch Blast. That's only got 65% chance of hitting. That's only got 60% chance of hitting. They're all pretty terrible, if I say so myself. I don't fancy standing in the oil it sounds like a plan that could lead to everything being foiled uh do you have fire no it's it's only up to our wizard but she's going to have left the fire by the time we get there oh well actually you got a fireball convenient just hit here and if you miss you'll still blow her up brilliant now that is what i call perfect planning How'd you get past back off oh she's running away to report to the others i see what even are you doing? You, you ran off, healed yourself a bit, and then ran back into the fire. I'm not even going to question it. We're just going to get you with a uh, witch bolt. No, we can't reach you with the witch bolt. Okay, can we run forward a bit? No, our block path's been entirely blocked. Step by step. Well, we'll get a bit closer and see if we can hit you. That's a thunder wave. That won't reach. Witch bolt, no sleep, grease... All of them are just outside of range. How unfortunate. Can we do a nice little jump? Cover more distance in this turn. Double your movement. Now the issue is I can't get through. Oh, I can get through. No, I can't. Oh well. Dunno. I think she's dead. I think she's dead. The only downside is now there's fire everywhere. And I don't think... With Yankee joining our company... Not a collaboration I'd have anticipated, but a welcome one nonetheless. Totally good stuff. Um, yeah, I haven't had a conversation with you, have I? So let's have a nice chat while we're currently infiltrating a church. Tell me a bit about let's yourself, see. dear. I hail from Waterdeep, city. Will you sell water? I am a wizard of considerable acclaim and scholar of exceptional accomplishment. Humble as well, very humble. I have a cat, a library, and a weakness for a good glass of wine. And if the mood takes me. Yeah. I'm known to try my hand. Remind me a bit of Dorian from Dragon Age Inquisition. There. Didn't that paint enough of a picture? Um, try peering into his mind. If he won't open up, you'll sneak in. Uh, I'll just leave that for now. I don't think that's going to make him happy. I may before the Nautilus light is shrouded in darkness. Isn't usually a symptom of seramorphosis. If it is, 
They've forgotten to write it down in any text I've read on the subject. Then again, the case isn't exactly usual. Perhaps whatever's causing our tadpoles to remain in stasis has also affected your mind. If ceramorphosis takes place, all trace of your former self will be subsumed into the Mind Flayer's hive. So, to still be here, if I might forgetful, still a win in my book. Yeah, but am I still here if I've lost my memories because I am no longer who I was once before? Because someone's individual self is predicated upon their past experience. I understand no same man walks in a two river twice, same river twice, because each time he would be a different person or changed experience. There's still a line of continuation, and that has been severed. I have violent force to crave force, one that refused to go away. Sure. We all have those from time to time. Yeah, not to my degree. I almost cut off your arm, mate. A most impure demise on a colleague of mine who bore the last remaining copy of Etheril's Enchiridion yeah. of Enchanting Easements. It's a first edition, too. I think, I think we're di different degrees here. As regards to your own morbid little fantasies, I'm sure they're nothing to worry about. So long as they remain fantasies. Ah. Uh. Yes. Um, good stuff. Nice chat, Dorian. Um, or whatever your name is. Gail. It was splendid as always. The fires died down in the time I was chatting to you, which is brilliant. That was actually all part of my merciful plan. I am ready for the third and hopefully final attempt at this because my companions keep dying. And je refuse, I will not allow it to occur again. So while we're sneaked, we're going to range attack and use our advantage here to start combat and from this point we're gonna spread out make sure we do not get clumped in the door and also try to avoid any stupid fire spell that would happen to whittle down our health points to absolutely nothing so mr your name is asterion stay here uh i have no need for your offhand attack right now but you you can culling hide if you want to i don't know if that gives me any benefit but i'm going to give it go nonetheless additionally uh, stick to the left hand side less clumping the better we're going to use true side on ourself oh we can't use it on ourselves. that's a significantly less useful cantrop than i anticipated um who would be useful with advantages not enough movement no 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 use what oh i need to he can't see me well that's unfortunate Instead, we're going to go for an Eldritch Blast then, and hopefully finish off this guy. Unless my arrows are better, which they are not. So, goodbye, please. Yes. This is off to a much better start than before. 15 EXP, and that should be sufficient to end our turn. I forgot to balance out my health potions again, so we're going to have to make do with the limited we have. You're a wizard, so we're going to keep you with relatively high ground. I just want to avoid blocking the door well. So here seems to be sufficient. And we'll go for a Witch Bolt. Which can hit this guy. Nice. Critical miss. That's okay. You know, we don't hit everything. That is the way of life. And our Cleric can head to the front. And be our melee damage taker considering they have a shield. Although we technically are the best for tanking stuff. But... I digress. Blessing of the Trickster can be quite useful. We're going to go with a Firebolt and target this guy here. It's only got a 50% chance. And it hits, so I'm a happy chappy. End turn and continue. See what our enemy has planned for us. Nothing particularly interesting, it seems. I'll take that. 88 is an advantage. Can we use a Sneak Range? Yes, we can. So go forward, take him out, do 10 damage. So apparently it is useful to use our bonus action of hiding at the end of each of our turn. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. 60, we're just going to go for another Eldritch Blast. I want to take this guy out. If we can deal enough damage, unfortunately not. Mm. Flourish off hands, we're not close enough. Alas, I could use the additional bonus down there to grant us a more action but i don't think it's worth it i go for another witch bolt and finish off him 
that leaves us with two enemies. Oh my god, when you plan, things go so much better. Also, last time I had terrible, terrible, atrocious, mind-bogglingly bad luck with rolls. So, all I can say is I'm ecstatic. My voice is raw. I've narrated this battle three times. This, oh, two times. This should be my third. Um, what are we going to do here? Piercing shot? Hmm. Sure, we'll give a piercing shot. Take out Oligar. Gaping wound. Well, I'll take a gaping wound. It may not be the most amount of damage we've done, but it's enough. Okay, as a single fireball, I can deal with a single fireball as long as it's not fire everywhere, burning us to smithereens repeatedly and me walking back into it. Sneak attack. Must have an advantage against the target, which alas, we do not, it seems. We can go for a hamstring attack, which will make your approach slower. Hmm. Unfortunate. I could go forward and go for an offhand attack, it seems. So I might as well make use of that. Three damage is still three damage. And we can heal up next time, because he's going to be the primary target for damage coming up. 70 and 80. Oh, I want to go for the A-team. It's just less likely to fail, although it would have been nice to finish off Polko. We wouldn't have anyway. And we'll get rid of the mage first then and deal with Ranger afterwards. I don't think we can reach the offhand attack here. No, we can't. So we'll just continue. He didn't even hit me. He just missed. And I failed the athletics, was that? Or did you fail the athletics? Nay too short. Mage Hand, Rare Frost. How much is Rare Frost going to do? 80% chance versus 80% chance. Sure. I'm pretty cool. We'll deal with Frostiness. Uh, I should have dealt with Fire because that wasn't very good. But, you know, if we deal with Fire, Ice and Fire, going to be the perfect combination. Boom. And we have won this combat. I have never been happier. Nuke attack melee? Yeah, I don't think that was going to work. Just attack, please. Oh, that is so incredibly satisfying. Let's just... I'm just saving. Overwrite. In case anything goes wrong. My computer crashes, although I haven't technically had any crashes yet. I just want to be ready in case. We'll loot and check out the room and see if we can find a way to enter the door. We're over encumbered. Well, I can fix that. Can I just drag and drop? No, I'm going to have to individually. Or maybe I can shift click. That makes life a lot easier. We're all going to go into you. Take my stuff. I don't really care. And you're going to go to the health boy. Thank you so much for your help. It is very much appreciated. Ooh. Something over there. there is something over there. We've got a leather. I will pull the weird ominous skull thing. Just give me a hot sec. I want to collect my feather. Do we have anything behind we're missing? No, but we can light more braziers. Lord said, let there be light. And then... If I was to has to guess, it's probably this door over here. With our secret treasure. And hopefully not another battle. Because I really don't want to have to deal with that. I want peace. Nice, lovely peace. my hands on everything. Yeah, so am I. I go to an art museum, I end up touching, like, Michelangelo's personal, very best creme de la creme artwork, sculpture, whatever, and I would break it. That would be me. That's why I don't go to fancy places, because ultimately, I know I am bound to destroy them. Ooh, dank hair. We have found a dank crypt. What is in this dank crypt? I actually kind of remember from when I played the beta. I played the beta when it first came out, but I only went up to maybe another hour in gameplay. And then it's all going to be fresh in my noggin. I will take the vase. Thank you very much. Well, we've got two heavy oak doors to head through. I guess we'll go into the... Oh, I saw... Oh, that's a vase health. That's all good. That's all good. I will continue forward. And I imagine bad things... Oh, be careful to trigger that thing. Yeah, don't trigger that thing. Can I uh, disarm it? Do I have the skills? What do I need? Disarm, trap, and I've also got dexterity. So it shouldn't be too bad. Nice. That will just stop us accidentally walking over it in the future. Thank you very much. So now we can... Yay! Now we can do whatever we want without having to worry. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a lot of traps here. Calm yourself. I've got my first critical success. 
You rolled a 20 on your critical assess, so it means you automatically passed it. Well, I know I automatically passed it. It's what rolling above a 10 means. You absolute cretin. But so far, I've been relatively successful. I've got that, that, and I have cleared the central thing. There's probably going to be two other ones there. I'm just not going to bother to touch. We have an engraved key and the Wither's Guide. It's worth 200, but we're going to be giving that to Andreon, and he's going to be a very happy chappy. Yay! Okay, well, we have lockpicked the door at the far side. I have given up on the remainder of the traps, and hopefully we're going to find something useful. Alas, it is simply a shortcut and has led us to where we checked out earlier. So uh, in we go. We're going to go and... No, don't everything. do that. You're going to step on that. Okay, good. Didn't step on the trap. It's all good. It's all good. Crisis averted. We're going to go and open the other brass door and see what we can find. What's inside? I don't know what's inside. A grand temple seems to await us with lots of dead skellies and hopefully no not combat because combat is scary but now we should enlighten ourselves by Everyone turning so subversive about their words that they commanded protection I don't, I don't know i guess we'll find out when we um definitely don't talk to a lich in a few moments unless my mind's actually playing tricks on me and it wasn't the lich he spoke to in this game i don't know either way i enjoy turning on candles and we're going to go check out this cave. It's a very pretty cave. I don't know what we're going to do over here. I want to see how walk we can deep. How deep we can walk. Walk we can deep, deep we can walk. I don't know who the scribe of the dead is, but uh, good to know we at least recognize the uh, religious connection this church has. We're on to good thing. We've got a heavy key. Where's this heavy gate go to? Probably the door we just came from that I ended up lockpicking. Oh well. Although I felt cool, I did my first ever lockpick success. Looking pretty dapper there with your new spear. That might be worth a look. Yes, I do think so. We're gonna go press random buttons because that's what I'm good at. What do we have here? Liches, lovely. Can we please not fight them? They look like they're itching to fight. That doesn't look like a friendly skeleton last time I checked. No, no, not a very friendly skeleton in the slightest. Well, we're going to continue with this battle in the next episode, everybody, and find out what is lurking in the deep depths of this cavern. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe.